All right, so this week what I'm going to be working on is a uh, 22 caliber bullet trap. So the whole idea behind this is that since we can't really leave the house, go to the range or anything right now, I'm going to build something that I can plink with my little 22 rifle to uh, give me something to do during the day. And so you can see the plan is to make a 15 by 15 square opening and we're going to have a front view, side view, and then the kind of a 3D orthographic view. And in order to make this, I'm going to need three pieces that are cut to 3 inches by 15 inches. One at 15 by 15, and one at 17 by 15. And then for the two side pieces, I will need two that are 15 on the legs with a 3 inch um, 90 degree angle there. And then just connecting those two. So once we're done, hopefully we'll have something that looks similar to this 3D orthographic. And we will go from there. Alright, so I just realized that I forgot to turn my camera on while cutting and fabricating a lot of this. But you can see we got to the point where we've got the back welded up, the holes on the side. And we've got all the outside corners of this welded up pretty good in. If you watched any of my other videos, you know I really like outside corners just because they weld super easy and it's nice to get a very good consistent weld beat on there. So with that, so with that being said, um, one thing that I decided to add was a rail that would allow me to hang some targets that you would shoot and they would ping out of the way. So I drilled a hole on each side, took a piece of steel, well, did a washer to one end, and that will allow me to create a removable bar that will hold a couple circles or something that I can then uh, plink at and give me something to do there. Also, I got pretty lucky here that I assembled this way first. And you'll notice that I have a couple pieces of angle iron on the tops and going down the sides here. And the reason I say I got lucky is because I was thinking that I might want to try and shoot my pistols at these, which are a little higher caliber than, higher caliber than a 22. So what this slide allows me to do is take a thicker piece of steel and I can actually slide that into there so now that it's not uh, going to destroy this, you know, 10 gauge or 12 gauge steel quickly and I can put a little bit thicker steel in there to help absorb that impact but still allow it to hit and drop down. The other thing that we're going to be working on here is that now that I have decided to add this where I can remove a plate just so if it gets beat up we can replace it is now I'm going to have to add some hinges to this top piece. So the idea is going to be that this is not going to be welded to the frame. What we're going to do is take a hinge on each side, weld those down so that I can lift this up, rotate it out of the way, remove the piece of steel inside of there if I need to, and this will give me the, in my opinion, best of both worlds. I can test it out with a little bit higher calibers, and if it destroys the plate, it doesn't instantly destroy my box. So let's go ahead and get fabricating and see how this turns out.
All right, so we just finished the hinges on there. Um, came out pretty good. Nice, decent welds on there and will be plenty good enough for allowing me to flip that back and then pulling that reinforcement plate on the back so I don't damage the box that I just built and to still give it that nice aesthetic from a long ways away. So everything's looking pretty good so far. The only thing I got to finish up now is that I need to make a couple of targets that will swing when I hit them. And once we have that done, we'll see how it looks. So let me get to it and we'll be right back to this. All right, so we got the parts uh, cut out for the targets. Luckily, I had one of these that I built for uh, a guy who, whose range I shoot at every now and then. But you can see that we got these in here now. And what will happen is now that we are able to um, actually use this, we will hit them. They'll swing back and forth for all of them. And the bolts will hopefully hit them, ricochet to the back plate, and then hit down in here. So I'm going to go take a few shots at this and uh, we'll come back and see what my final thoughts, thoughts are on this project. All right, so I went out to my buddy's place, and um, unfortunately, I forgot to bring my camera with me. But this is kind of the end results here. You can see that the targets hold up pretty good to a 22, no problems at all. And you can see from the plate in here. Let me get a better grip there. That the plate was working kind of how I intended it to, where you can see that the bolts were hitting and then ricocheting down and you can see we pop quite a few rounds at this so the only thing let me get this back in here before I start talking so everything worked really good except that since this is still steel underneath of here you can see that we got some shavings and stuff in there still it uh it catches the bullets okay not great but better than just having nothing out there so um Overall, super pleased with how this turned out, but the only thing I would adjust if I'm going to be use this, especially maybe like um, if you got a big enough basement or something and you want to shoot a BB gun or a pellet gun at this, I would either put some sand underneath here or maybe buy some like molding clay or something to put in here just to uh, help catch those bolts because when they do hit, they fragment pretty good and it does make quite a bit of a mess. But overall, super thrilled with how this project came out. And if you guys are looking for prints or anything, they are probably going to be in the beginning of this video. But if you have any questions or comments on here for making another one in the future, please let me know because I'm always looking for ways to improve anything that I build. So thanks again for watching. We hope to see you in the next video.